Travis here with GearChase.com. Today we're going to be looking at a couple of pair of popular cycling glasses from Smith. The Wildcat and the Bobcat. Now looking at these from a distance, you may not notice that there's much difference between the two. But if you look at them closely, you can see that one's slightly larger than the other. So the Wildcat with the dark lens has a frame width of 144 millimeters. The Bobcat has a frame width of 140 millimeters. The frame height on the Wildcat is 63 millimeters and the frame height on the Bobcat is 135 millimeters. The lenses are just slightly smaller with the Wildcat coming in at 140 you're just measuring the lens and the lens on the Bobcat is 57 millimeters. Also there's only about a millimeter difference in the length of the temple on both glasses and a pretty similar shape. Another difference between the Bobcat and the Wildcat is the different lens and frame color options. So the Wildcat comes in about eight different colors. You can check those out on smithoptics.com. And the Bobcat comes in about six different colors. The only colors they have in common is a black and white. The other colors are unique to the Bobcat and to Wildcat. The lens options are also similar. They both come with an extra clear lens. and have the option of a chrome pop lens or a photochromatic lens. The chrome pop lens, as you can see here, it's labeled on the lens, enhances the highlights and the surroundings, whereas the photochromatic is a, is a light sensitive lens that changes darkness as the sunlight increases. They both have six len different lens options in various colors. The only lens options that they share are the black, the red mirror, the violet mirror, and the photochromatic. Looking at the changing the lenses on both frames is fairly similar. For the Bobcat, the easiest way to do that is to pull up on the top and keep pulling up around. Once you get near the temple, I like to kind of rotate out to get past that hook in the lens. Once you have the top released, there's just two tiny attachments here. Works good to just kind of slide out from the, from the top. And for the Wildcat, follow the same procedure. Release the top first and work your way around to the temple. These are a little bit harder to get out than the Bobcat. You can see there's a, a bigger notch cut out there. And that pops out. Just to show a size comparison by overlaying the lenses, can see a little bit of a difference. I'll show a comparison with the clear lens as well. So that's the Bobcat lens on top and the Wildcat lens on bottom. While I have these taken apart, I'm going to talk a little bit more about the frames. You can see the difference here where the Bobcat holds the lens all the way across the top and the Wildcat doesn't hold it on the ed edges. Also the temples are a little bit different as well. 
you can see that the rubber piece extends further on the Wildcat. And one thing I like about that is when you're taking the glasses off and on, that's right where your thumbs hit. And so it gives a little bit of extra grip there. You know, if your hands are sweaty or the glasses are sweaty, whereas the Bobcat, where your thumbs hit, there is no silicone there. Kind of see how flimsy the, the frames are without a lens in them. Another piece that's a little different is the nose piece. And it's really just the, the width, and that is adjustable. It's a little tricky to adjust these, but basically you just rotate in, you hear that click, and it makes the bridge a little bit narrower. And to reinstall the lens, reverse the steps that I took to remove it. Get the bridge in first, and you'll make sure that these notches clip into place. Then start the temple into the notch, and push up. One little trick is to, to kind of flex the lens around. You can see there the curvature of how much the lens is being flexed into place. One problem with changing the lenses, you get them pretty dirty. There is a soft carrying bag that's included in the hard case. Additionally, in the hard case, you get some glasses information and information on changing the lenses, as well as a Smith sticker. So reinstalling the lens on the Wildcat here, same procedure. There is an additional tab up here on the bridge that the Bobcat doesn't have. One nice thing too is after you get the new lens in, you've got the fingerprints all over it. When you're using the cleaning cloth, it kind of helps you know, make sure that you've got that lens popped into place. The cases, the hard case that comes with these is pretty big. It's hard to carry around if you're out on a ride. Typically, I'll wear the glasses and use the soft case to take an extra lens with me. I do a lot of night riding, so I will always have that clear lens with me and swap it out once it gets dark. But these cases are super nice for traveling. They hold the glasses secure so they're not bouncing around like some of the other hard cases. Have a special slot here just for the lens and some extra room for the bag in back. One other important thing about a cycling glass is the compatibility with helmets. So I've got a few of my helmets here that I wanted to just show how these sunglasses fit against those. This is my Smith Forefront 2 helmet. I've been riding for a few years. Just wanted to show how nicely these glasses fit together with a Smith helmet. So when you have them on, you can see the curve there of the glasses matches the curve of the helmet. Another nice feature is that with these rubber silicone temples and a Smith helmet, they're designed to fit or integrate together. So if you don't wanna wear the sunglasses, you have a, a secure place to put them. 
with the forefront helmet, you can put them up top, upside down. And they're pretty secure there. Another option is to raise the visor. And they do fit either way that way. You can also store them on the back here as well. It's not as secure, but just another option there. That's one of the nice things about having you know, same branded helmets and glasses. So if you already own you know, a Smith helmet, maybe something worth looking into. Just to show some of the contrast here, this is a road bike helmet from Bell and glasses don't look bad with it, but you just see that they don't match up quite as well as they do with the Smith. One thing I liked about the Bobcat, I have a larger face size, and so sometimes I'll wear a full face helmet, and I don't like wearing goggles with it all the time. And because these are a larger fitting, you get that goggle-like coverage, uh, but they fit well inside of a full face helmet as well. And again, that curve along the top matches well with the curve of the helmet. The full face helmet doesn't have the storage like the mountain helmet does. And you could put them there, but I don't think they're gonna stay very well. It's a nice option if it's a hot day, you wanna wear a full face helmet but you don't want to wear goggles with it. Having an oversized sunglasses uh, with a full face helmet, I don't think it looks as funny um, as having some smaller shades on. Here's another Smith road bike helmet. This is the Trace and these fit really well together. And also have the same storage options as the forefront along the sides here. You can see there's actually some cutouts uh, for the arms to, to fit in there. And those are secure as well. Also from behind. So Smith offers a lifetime warranty on their glasses from manufacturer defect. They also offer a return or exchange program, maybe $6 for a shipping fee to return them, or if you want to exchange them for a different color or model. Some of the other popular models of Smith sunglasses for mountain biking are the Shift Mag, the Flywheel, the Ruckus, the Boomtown, and Reverb. So you may wanna check those out as well. If you're trying to make up your mind between the Wildcat and the Bobcat, I think it really comes down to face size. With the slightly larger face, I'd recommend the Wildcat. For a smaller face or female face, I'd recommend the Bobcat. I'll put some links below that help support the channel, as well as a link to the full description and review on gearchase.com. Smith is often sold out of these sunglasses. They're extremely popular. So if they don't have any, you can search on gearchase.com. We search hundreds of different on online retailers to see if we can find any in stock. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content about outdoor gear, cycling products, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.